We're going to take a look at um, a flashcard program in Edmodo here now. Um, that's part of our Edmodo accounts. Um, just a reminder, our apps launcher for Edmodo is over here in the corner. You should be logged in, of course, into your Edmodo account already. When you go into the apps launcher here, the, there's a couple different options for flashcards. There's that one by Course Hero, which will uh, be in a different tutorial. And for this one, though, we're going to take the one that's titled Flashcards. You just go ahead and click on that, and we'll get it started. Okay. It takes a second. It syncs it with your Edmodo account. Now, if you get an intro screen that comes up, just kind of kind of scroll through that uh, intro screen and get yourself to this menu here. Now, um, there's a lot of cool and good features about this um, flashcard app. Um, it is part of a suite of other apps here, and there's some different controls here. Um, that you can use. It looks like there's some apps you can use on, uh, on iOS and Android devices as well that go with this. Um, this is one of your menu options here. Um, and then you notice here that you have some different uh, options as far as um, how these um, flashcard stacks work. You can search for stacks that are out there or create your own. Now what we're looking to do today is to create our own. Uh, in this case we're going to use module B, but again this tutorial is universal and you could use it for any subject area, uh, not just technology, and any of our modules in technology here. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a stack here a second, start creating a stack. And when you do that, it's going to ask you for some information. Do you want to share your stacks with others? Now you can turn this on and off. Right now I'm just going to leave it off right now. That says choose a subject. Now the only problem we have with technology is technology is not listed in here. So um, I always just go with creative arts, um, but you can choose whichever subject heading you want to put it under. You just got to remember what you put it under. And then your grade, of course, for seventh grade uh, for this example. And then we're just going to go create a stack. It's going to ask us for stack name. I'm just going to call this Ed Tech um, Module B um, and just kind of leave it at that. And the rest of the information is there. So we'll go ahead and create stack again. And up will come the um, interface where you go ahead and start entering questions. Now, the best thing to do here, guys, is you got a couple different things you can do. You can go back to Edmodo and go ahead and take a look at our quizzes uh, from the past. And you can use those to kind of generate, um, you know, some items for your flashcards. You could go to um, our um, uh, tech concepts page and go through and take um, oh, um, uh, lingos and, and some of the other items that we have on here and add flashcards to those. I'm going to work uh, predominantly from um, the, qu uh, the quizzes today. Um, now, just a reminder, even though we're working from the quizzes, um, you can, um, you know, don't forget that the questions will change and form somewhat on the test. So. Uh, don't get locked too much into memorizing the questions themselves, but memorizing the concept that the question's asking for. So, for example, here, what I can do is I can simply go in, I can copy the question from one of our um, quizzes. In this case, I'll copy this question about communication collaboration, where that's keep, kept track of the information for that. And then I go back over here to my tab, and down here you'll notice where it says enter a question. Now the, the piece in the background there is a kind of that standard uh, input an image here, but we're not going to use an image actually, we're just going to put in uh, some text. So that's the question there, which Google Communication Collaboration app keeps track of the information you need, so on and so forth. Uh, and then what we can do is we just flip the card to put the answer in. So I can go back to the quiz, find the answer, copy it, and then paste it. Okay? So it's easy. Pretty easy to do when you're taking it from the quiz. Same thing if you take it from the ICANN or Lingos um, on the EdTech Concepts page. You could go in here. You could simply, if you wanted to uh, get some Lingos off here, you could simply copy the Lingo. That would be the question. Okay. So I'm going to copy that. Just go over here. I'm going to make a new question. The plus symbol to make a new question. Okay. Put the definition on the question side and then the answer side. I'm not going to copy this time. I don't know what it is. It's podcasts. Okay. Put that there for the answer. Okay. Now the last thing I want to show you here, real quick, um, is what if we have images? Okay, and how images work. Now images are pretty easy to use, except um, you have to kind of save them someplace else uh, before you put them in here. Okay. 
I'm going to save them as a file. So what I'm going to do to kind of start here, and I recommend that you do this the same. Now, you could just put the images on your desktop. That's up to you. But my desktop is usually pretty full of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, and go to, to Finder here real quick, and I'm going to go to New Folder. Okay? I may have to go search for it. There it is over there. I've got to kind of pull it back over here. I'm going to put it over the side, though, so I can kind of drag and drop things. Okay? Um, and I'm just going to call this Mod B Review Images. Okay? Now, got that folder ready to go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to a different quiz that we had, um, a Mod B Part 2 quiz. And I'm just going to go to that real quick because I know there's images in there. That's my B part one. All right, yeah, there we go. Okay, get in there. And then view, go, of course, to view results. All right, now let's go find a question that's got an image. There we go. There's an image right there. Okay. Now what I can do is I can, you know, click on that uh, to see it in a larger view. And then what I can do is I can take this and drag and drop it right into my folder. Now as I do that now, guys, I want to make sure I label it right away. There it is, but it's not labeled. Okay. So I got to go back to that question. Okay, close that tab. Go back to that question. Now that's an internal hard drive, is what that image was. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to change the name of it to internal. So I remember what it is: internal hard drive. Or what you could do is just remember it as you're putting in the question. But I thought labeling it might be helpful there. So I'm going to change its change its name. Okay, got to leave that off the side right now. And then let me go back to my tab with my questions now okay um, let me go ahead and enter now watch this carefully because this can be a little confusing I want to put this in as the as the pictures but I got to kind of click down here below okay uh, kind of below that please don't click on where the question text is click down below there to get this to come up so then we're gonna go to image search okay because I can't just drag and drop it unfortunately I gotta do I gotta go you know through a um, browser uh, view here. Oops, I'm sorry. I don't want to hit search. Sorry. I want to upload an image. Pardon me. I click the upload image button and up will come an interface uh, from uh, Finder here. And I'm just going to go, remember it's the module B review images. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on internal hard drive and open it. And that's going to put the image, uh, it should put the image in here. I don't know why it's not coming up. But I'm going to go ahead and enter the question. I'll just say, what is this? What storage device is this? Okay, and I'll flip the card, of course, and put in um, uh, internal hard drive, and that's the answer. Okay, now hopefully my image my image isn't showing here for some reason, but it should. Um, let's try let's try putting it again real quick here. It just seems to be we had a little issue with the upload the image. Let me try it one more time. See what happens here. Um, let's see if it'll work or not. Oops. Hold on. Ah. Well, it's not, not going for some reason here. We're having a little bit of an error. Uh, but if um, usually that's going to work. Um, so I apologize, guys, in this, this tutorial for not working here. Um, not sure why it's not working. Um, we'll have to take a look at that. But that's how you would upload the image anyways. Find it on your, save it on your computer and upload it that way. Um, not sure why it's not working. Hopefully it would work, will work for you there. But the image will show up, so on and so forth. Anyway, let's continue on here. Um, now that um, we have it uh, set to go, um, let's just hit done for right now. Of course, I don't have all the cards in there that I want. But when I hit done now, it's going to take me through the cards that I made. So I can click flip card and I read it. There's the answer contacts. Okay, got that one. What is this storage devices? Now there should be an image there. I don't know why it's not coming up, but hopefully we can get the image to show up. It's the internal hard drive. Um, and then this one, of course, was podcasts. Look at that. So I can go through there and I can check them off and see which ones I knew. Now if I got it wrong, I would I would hit the um, the in, you know hit the red check or the red X and that would tell me that I got that one incorrect. Um, you, we can use these in different ways. We're not really going to turn them in right now. We may do that in the future, but we can practice again as we go through these. Flip card, let's say I got that one wrong. I could hit this. Okay, I got that one right, let's say. What storage device is it? Of course, this is the one that's not working, but let's say I got that one right. Okay, now it's going to take me back to the one I got wrong. 
okay, and ask me again. And then I got it, let's say I got it right that time, okay? And then it'll, it'll kind of keep quizzing me until I get those right. So it's a great practice tool for that kind of stuff. When you get finished now, um, you can go back to the main menu here and kind of see your stacks. So if you click where it says My Stacks there, it'll show you the one that you made down here. And if you want to add more to it, you just click on it. And then if you're ready to add more, just go ahead and hit this button here. And it allows you to go back in. Make sure you don't add over what's already there. you got to hit that blue button there. Um, take you to the next question. So hopefully the image thing is going to work for you. I apologize for not working out. I'll have to redo this tutorial. Uh, but um, uh, hopefully we can get that working for you. Maybe try Safari instead of using Chrome. I don't know if this is a Chrome issue on this. But take a look at that today anyway and see if you can come up. Um, again, that's an easy tool to use as far as creating some study uh, guides, some study cards for your quiz tomorrow.